thank you for connecting to this little video. I'm just going to explain to you about what Microsoft School Data Sync is. Now, before I go into detail on this slide that you can see here, I want you to imagine your school MIS, your timetable, and I mean just your timetable being available in the cloud. Yep, we want it to be nice and secure, and it is from where it is with Microsoft School Data Sync, but I want you to first to think about it as that kind of concept, an idea of it being available for you and for other suppliers once you've given them permission to, to be able to pull that database out. So security obviously is really important. So Microsoft School Data Sync is your table in the cloud behind the Microsoft Azure Active Directory. That's their firewall, that's their authentication window. That is where their data is nice and secure. And it's stored within your Azure AD or Office 365, as it's also kind of known, and that's the identity provider for Office 365. So it's nice and secure. It's not available to anybody. It is nice and secure. It's important to remember. But what we can do is we can grant different applications permission to this database. But Microsoft have already made a few available to us. The first couple being Microsoft Teams. So what it does, Teams goes and finds your uh, classes from that database and provisions a team per class. Intune for education provides you the ability to customize the students that are in the different classes and subjects and give different configuration and applications that are available for you. And you can also have other third party solutions that go off and uh, start reading that database should you give them permission to do so so they can go off so it could be an analytics tool it could be another form of uh, uh, application assignment tool you can have one of these you could have all of these it's completely up to you you can control where the different applications pull from microsoft school data sync but of course we've got to get that data into microsoft school data sync and we've got your mis provider and you may well work with a third party provider of some sorts to be able to pull that data and provision it maybe on a nightly basis or weekly basis into uh, Microsoft School Data Sync. So a few key things here just to remember. The first being that this is secure. It's your database, your timetable information in the cloud. Nobody can access it unless you give them permission to be able to do so. And that's how it should always be. There will never be any leaks behind the Azure Active Directory security area. Microsoft Teams can pull from it, other applications can pull from it, and all that's all sent through some third party supplier. So you can find more about School Data Sync on sds.microsoft.com. You can see connectors on there. You can also see applications that are being pulled that can give you this whole single sign on experience to really help you in your classroom for teaching and learning. So I've been Alex Pierce. Thank you for connecting and listening in. You can get hold of me on Twitter. I'm Alex underline Pierce. Or you can email me at apierce at bscnetworks.com. Thanks for listening.